So little one, on your journey to the Far East, did you learn anything spectacular? Well, Sensei, I never will trust a white person, a foreigner again, because they can't dance and they definitely can't sing to any Chinese songs. Let me show you on the video. Here comes the new year, happy happy new year, welcome the new year, lucky lucky new year, it's our new year, not the final new year, don't have to make sense. Oh my god grasshopper, you are correct, godspeed, happy new year, to everyone. <laughs> A very warm welcome to the channel, Wednesday the 26th of January 2022. A little bit of a funny intro next week, at the beginning of next week is the Chinese New Year and I found this song and I thought it was hilarious. I will play the little clip with the original singer at the very end. It's just so funny, I found it. I just had to sort of do something incredibly wrong with it. Now, without further ado, let's hop into what's happening today. And it's all about the Barheaton Dam is in trouble, according to, um, not necessarily according to, this was a message from Helen, you can see here. Barheaton Dam is in trouble. Here come those dominoes. Let's investigate. First of all, let's show you where the Barheaton, I think it's pronounced like that, Barheaton Dam is. And you can see it in comparison to the Three Gorges. The Barheaton is at the bottom left and Three Gorges is at the top left. So southwest to kind of like, I don't know how many kilometers it's away, but in between is Chongqing. And here are some pictures of the turbines going in. It's the second largest dam in China and the drop from the actual sluice gates down to, you could say sea level is 719. I do believe 719 meters. Wow. So it's producing, saying it's producing the second largest amount of electricity. Some pictures here you can see, maybe you've seen this before under construction and in a little bit more detail you can see some of the other dams as well. There's the Three Gorges and again there is the Bahitian or Bahitian Dam. World's second largest 16 gigawatt mega hydro power station begins operation. On the morning of June 28, 2021, the first hub turbines of China's Barheaton Dam hydropower station were officially put into operation with a total installed capacity of 16 gigawatts, I do believe, rated second in the world after the Three Gorges Hydro at 22.5 gigawatts. According to mainland media reports, this hydropower plant is located on the mainstream of the Jingsha River, on the junction of this county in Yunnan province and Sichuan province. A total investment of 34 billion American dollars, 2.5 more than the Free Gorges projects. This project is the largest and most technically challenging hydro project in the world. It consists of a dam, flood discharge and energy dissipation facilities water diversion, power generations and more. The normal storage of the reservoir is 825 meters with a total storage capacity of 20.6 billion cubic meters. The dam is concrete double curved arc to dam, finally, with a arc length of 209 meters. The, ele the elevation is 834 with a maximum height of 289. That is all wow, wow, wow. As we talked about yesterday, what are the concerns of the free gorges? Why do people worry about it so much? Why do I make so many videos about it? Why is it sort of like a fawn in my side? This is number two, not just in China, but the world as well, which is now on the 
Yangtze River, the third largest, the most untamed river in the world, has another man-made, made in China dam. Even higher, curved, okay, they've learned their lessons about curved dams, but the whole thing about dams in China, um, how many dams? 94,000. How many are disrepaired? At least 46,000. Is this another one in another 5, 10, 15, 20 years to be like the Free Gorges? They spent a bucket load of money, $2.5 billion extra, they could have, and you could imagine how much of that went into the back pockets of the corrupt officials. At the moment, it's very tight security in this kind of place, and only people from, you could say, state-run news media would be allowed there. No tourists would be allowed there. It will be a tight a security issue, again, the same as the Free Gorges. It's something to keep an eye on, and this would be the third time that I would say, if this one did, then you have the Domino as the second largest, and we don't even want to dream about that situation coming in the future at all. At the moment, the Free Gorges, I do believe, is storing at 170 meters above sea level and downstream we don't really see what's going on there but it can be that they are preserving water for electricity it should be going down and the media would actually say when there is a water shortage how wonderful life is and in the warmer days coming in the not too distant future they may show some videos like this everyone on the beach. This is the actual Yangtze River in past years. But they won't show reality like this when a drought can occur. So you do have the floods every year in China. And after resetting the GoPro, I think we're back and working again. So if anyone wants to sponsor this channel by buying me a GoPro 10, you would be my best friend for life. Let's go into a, another comment, something completely different about the free gorges. This is from my little, <laughs> I don't know who this person is, but occasionally she comments, yeah? Very pro-China. Trina Trang, did F-35 crash into the South China Sea because China shot it down trying to blow up a airplane today? No, it didn't crash into the South China Sea. It actually crashed onto a aircraft carrier, an F-35. But it is quite interesting what the Chinese state media have actually reported to it. And it's quite a little bit of a joke as well. Let's have a look at that. This is from the Global Times. The US military should stop trouble stirring, stop violating other countries' sovereignty and security. More of more accidents are bound to happen, Zhang warned. Well, international waters, international, even though China doesn't agree with international waters, it's one in a million, I'm afraid the majority rules. It continues here. This is really funny. The pilot might be unfamiliar with the new aircraft, or the aircraft itself has some problems, Wei said. Now, would you put an inexperienced pilot in a multi-million dollar aeroplane? And the answer is no. The pilot is going to be incredibly well trained to go in something which costs, again, 20, 30 million dollars. I don't know the price. So these things make me laugh. Yeah. Okay, granted, I will say the aircraft it is mechanical, so they do... Mechanical, mechanical things do have problems. It's not always perfect. Let's see some of your Chinese aeroplanes. Would be fun to see. Are they as perfect as the international United States or the UK? Your aeroplanes, China, basically, you just copy the rest of the world. Do your own stuff, don't copy. And I like this message. This is from my original member, um, Pacific Pammy, she got a mug. Well done. Enjoy your cup of tea. Enjoy your cup of coffee. Enjoy your cup of coffee with a little bit of whiskey inside it. 
there yeah. and you can do exactly the same if you want to support this channel or you want to help a child here the proceeds are going to go to clothes food rice etc when we sold all the cups again i'm not too sure how many we have sold but you can contact the person donald his name is in the description below he is in america he is in florida and 15 dollars for a mug all proceeds don't go to me or to him it goes to the children there thank you pammy now back to the free gorges dam earlier this month i think it was on the 12th of january the date is there i made this very this video that actually got over seventy thousand views some of my subscribers say where is this video it's not on youtube they send emails and some messages etc and what i'm going to do literally after i sort of edited this kind of video is do it again and maybe a little bit edited with some things there so that'll be coming up in the next 24 hours or so just subscribe hit that notification if you have seen it before no need to watch it again because i'm not going to edit the actual content it's just going to be the same so sorry youtube for repetition but if some people haven't seen it i would like them to see it freedom of speech something which china doesn't have that brings us to a close for today and i will love you and leave you with here is the new year happy happy new year welcome to the new year lucky lucky new year it's my new year not a guaylo new year guaylo means lao wai lao wai means foreigner bye bye here comes the new year happy happy new year welcome the new year lucky lucky new year it's our new year not a guaylo new year don't have to make sense